No, I think so the, the multiplayer is going to really be like the, the shining element of the game. Yeah, it's, it's something that we, we think that it's hopefully going to give the game um, a certain amount of longevity. Um, people can't put a lot of good creations online and battle them out. So I'm definitely very happy with the way it turned out. Personally, I'm most pleased with the, the editor. Because I think it was the thing that was the most difficult to get right. Um, we had to make it that it was as easy for new players to pick up, but then to offer the kind of flexibility for advanced players as well. So that's the thing I'm most happy with. Steve, Klungo's Arcade. Oh yeah, Klungo's Arcade game is... <laughs> it's, the <laughs> it's the thing I'm second most proud of. First being showdown town with Klungo, I'm very proud of. Yeah. The challenge was bearing a ball. It was one of the first challenges that gripped me to the point where I, I, just, I couldn't stop. Uh, I could not stop having go after go, and it's a challenge where you've got to you're, you've got to avoid dominoes, to avoid penalties, and and for me it was I I got that real frustration, but a good frustration of of you know games when I was younger, trying the same thing. Sort of over and over, and really wanting to actually kind of best the times that other people in the office were getting. Um, I would say that um, half time snacks is my favourite challenge for the same reason, purely because I had to debug something on it and I just, <laughs> going through a crunch, I just started playing it, trying <laughs> to make it. Good times. Good times. Good times. Banjo, my favourite name is definitely Banjo, but that's me just being nostalgic, I think. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that, but for a different reason, because I never had an N64 growing up. So my uh, <laughs> experience with the original Banjo games is quite limited. So all those constant nods in Banjo Land that you get, I never got initially. But as my time at Rare grew on, I learned more about Banjo, and then everything started making sense. So. In Banjo Land, people would actually realise that if you look at Look at it from above, it's, it's the shape of Banjo's head. Have they ever found that out? I don't, I don't think anybody actually no. has realised that. I was going to say that. Oh, 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 God. Yeah. yeah. I told you I'd put too much effort into that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it? Showdown Town. Do you? I do, yeah. Ah, that's, yeah. Um, that's not technically a game world, but... No, it's not a game world, but uh, <laughs> I do like Showdown Town. Yeah, just, um, it's just a cool place to explore. Yeah. Yeah. Nutty Acres is yeah, probably the most beautiful. For, for me, Nutty Acres has always been the favourite in the game. It's, it's so uh, open as well, you can it's, really take off it's open. And flying at it. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of, you know, kind of ocean paradise almost settings and that's that's what Nutty Acres does for me, you know, the nice nice beach and, you know, big ocean. Um, and it's because we it was the actual, the first world we started on in the game. It's, it's the one that's been there for long since it's always been the one you've gone back to to test things out on um, and, and yeah I think that's really stuck with me. Probably best at solo football I think. Solo football for me is always a complete nightmare with eight players. There's constant action, constant collisions um, and while trying to get a whole array of different balls into various goals at the same time it's, it's just five minutes of absolute joy. Yeah, uh, sumo is a good one. You can't beat the simplicity of sumo. I think yeah, it's always a good challenge. That's my favourite as well. Actually. I like pie clip. Modelled on myself, I believe. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pedals. Pedals is a cool one as well, but she didn't really get used as much as she should have done. I don't think. No. no. She's a big hit. Yeah, she's a really nicely designed character. <laughs> Without a doubt, Congo's arcade. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, got to have my ringtone on. Yeah, yeah. uh, sorry, th sorry to the music department if uh, <laughs> <laughs> or big orchestral uh, pieces, but yeah, Congo's arcade. No, no, it's I, just. I personally you know, think that the best piece of music for the game is the showdown tone with all the interactive feeds putting that in. And Absolutely. Like the eight bit music yeah. when you got up to the log and sort of just the way that mm. feeds between different things, I think it was very, very interesting. <laughs> Come on, Klingo's Arcade is the, is the funniest part of the game. Come on, it's got to be. The okay. credits on Klingo's Arcade. Yeah, the hilarious. Yeah. Actually, had me. Yeah. They're worth completing the game just yeah. to read the credits. The actual game credits. 
make me yeah, sure. Paul, the, the, the final yeah. game credits are, are one of my favourites. I think people should check out the inside of Jolly's suitcase and see what's in there. <laughs>